Hello, so we're bringing you out today, bringing you out to the seaside. Good, isn't it? So we are today in Chapel St. Leonard's, which is nine minutes from the nurseries. So when you come into Chapel St. Leonard's, behind this big old pub here, the Griffin, is your public car park. It is four hours or three hours for two quid. But in this car park are the public toilets. Well, not in a car park. On the side of the car park, we just come out for a walk. I thought we'd bring you for a walk. Have a look out here. So, not been here before. Neil told me about it. So we thought we'd come and have a look. See what's about. Let's have a look. Let's see what's around this area. All right. So we've got a little village shop, shop there. Next to it is a card shop. A little gift shop. Oh, see you later, guys. We got dog beds here. Get your rugs here. Rugs are us. So over the back of that little green there, there's a great big pub called Divine. It's like a steakhouse, hotel and bar. Kebab shop on the corner there, which looks closed, and a cafe. What else we got over here? Let's have a little look. Ooh. Seaside tax shop. Quite a big co-op. Fish and chips, and we're going to walk down that way. I'm just going to have a little mooch up here first. Oh, there's a ground. So next to that cafe, Crumbs, is Golden Dragon Chinese. And then another Chinese, three doors away from it. Sandy, it's only nine minutes away. We like a Chinese. Might have to come down here for a Chinese. I think Neil's going to come down later to get a munch box out of one of them. So I might get him to get me a munch box. Try that. But it's quite a big co up there. It's only nine minutes away. Flipping, why haven't I been here before? Unreal. There's barbers here. There's two barbers here. And this candy cove, look, there's a pirate on it, that means that's a good shop. But it's full of sweeties and all stuff to get your kids hyper when they come to the seaside. Let's have a look in there, eh? So Sammy's gone in there, all your buckets and spades. This is absolutely packed with sweeties. Absolutely packed, this side. They do all these pick and mixes. Oh, they pick and mixes. Look at that lot. All your stuff for your kids. Loads of sweeties. Toys. Look at this. Seaside tat, don't you love it, eh? <laughs> right, let's buy some sweeties. Nice fish and chippy. Mm. But this is a proper old school. Proper old school seaside town. Or village I should say. A butcher's there. Another barber's. A boutique. Another souvenir and gift shop. It's pretty cool. There's your arcades. Again, this time of year. It's quite quiet here this time of year. Oh, I love an arcade. Look at that. There's a Batman thing there, darling. Look. Batman whacker. Yeah, well, good. And you go up this to the beach. Now, it looks like no dogs on the beach signs. A lot of the beaches around here 
you have designated dog walking bits or certain times of the year it's closed to dogs and this is the 1st of May to the 30th of September no dogs on the beach for 200 metres in each direction this one wow that is a flipping stonking beach look at that Sammy's seen an ice cream thing. There's Mr. Whippy, look. Sammy does like an ice cream. Oh, look at that beach. See what I mean? When you look at the beaches here, there's literally no one on this beach. No one at all there. That is beautiful. It's a beautiful day today, nice and fresh, just a bit hazy. But we're gonna go up this way, 200 yards. 200 meters we're going to the beach that's where we are Chapel St Leonard's so if you click that it tells you the story of the beach so get your phone click on that IR code and that should work and we're just going to go down here because Neil was telling me earlier on, he said this is a lovely place to come from a walk. Going around. Um, lovely place to come for a walk. And there's a decent looking bar thing up here that we're going to go and have a look at. But what a lovely beach. Gorgeous. Looks like people have been on there with their dogs. This is all dog prints everywhere. But we'll get you up here past these people and show you this bar. So we've got past them people. We're here now, look. The Admiral looks like Ben Bow. It's a pub. Look at that. This is all set out like a boat. That's well cool, isn't it? Hot chocolate and a tin mug, cream flake and marshmallows. Free chocolate tea cake with it. 320, that ain't bad, is it? Look at that. I'll bet this is heaving down here in the summertime and you can take dogs into the little area there but uh, we'll just keep walking up here for a bit but look I bet that's brilliant in the summertime coming here kids can all play in the sand dunes and you can sit in there and have a pint or a hot chocolate there we go got another hundred meters to go there's people over there with a dog We're going to go through here, I think. Because we ain't in May yet. So this promenade is me thinking, if I'm thinking to myself, May. It's probably when you retire, you don't even know what day it is, let alone what month it is. Every day melts into one, every day's a Sunday. But it's beautifully fresh here. Really nice. Clean. Don't know if how good it's going to be in the summertime but there's not a spot of litter along here it bins all the way up on this promenade we're going to go through this little gap here which is the edge of where you can walk your dog later on in the year it's just so people don't walk their dogs all over here and the kids are playing in it you don't want that here digging a sandcastle and you end up with a Richard III in it, no good. I like it here. This is literally nine minutes. Nine minutes from the campsite, and we've never been here. Big co-op, it's gotta be the closest co-op to the, isn't it? Yeah, nine minutes, gotta be the closest co-op to the campsite. We could go through here. So there we go. So that way, all the way in front of all the shops and the kiddies bits, up to those, it looks like there's beach huts up there. I think we've walked up there before where the beach huts are, but we've not down, been down this bit. There's bins everywhere. I'm saying, Sammy, drive down the road and uh, just driving down a normal country lane, there's dog pooping. How cool is that? Around my way, in my village where I live, 
I've noticed the last time I go went back that the bloody council have taken two of the bins out of the village. Council tax is still the same. Flipping ridiculous. Oh, that's lovely. Look at this. Look. Lovely beach. He wants to go. I'll give him a run. All these dunes. There is literally two people there with a little dog and nothing. <laughs> you wouldn't believe he was only like, I don't know, 20 minutes away from Skegness, would you? And he's right on the edge of the ocean. Let's let him off for a run. Go on in. There he goes. Give him a bit of a run. There's no one here. He wants to play now. Come in, good boy. Ah. What you found? Hey, do you know what that is? Call them witches' purses. And that's the egg case of a small shark or a ray. The shark family. It's cool, isn't it? Sammy Levick, she's a witch. Here we go. What up? On the beach. I don't know where he's gone. He's here. Shh, come on! That'll wear him out. But what a gorgeous beach! Can't believe it! There's so many places to explore around here. If you go to the nurseries for a, a week or two, you can go to a different beach every day, literally, along here. And we come in here a little while ago. Just before Christmas we walked up here when all the big storms were all going on. And there was all starfish on the beach. I think I did a video on that. I put a video up where whatever side it is, we always forget. So that there's all shells here. God that means I'm gonna have a load of shells in the van again. Well cool. Raised the clam shells. There's a razor clam shell. Razor clam. Common whelk. Cockle. There's a slipper shell. Hmm. That's weird, that don't look like a it's like a ram's on shell, that don't look like a salt water one. Oyster shells. Big old clam shell there. They're good, isn't it? Amazing. God, I love a beach. Absolutely beautiful. But it's very hazy. Can you see that in the distance? Fresh air. Perfect. No one here. Look. Not a flipping sausage. And it's like coming up to midday. It's about, I think it's about one o'clock. There you go. Common whelk egg case. Well, good. I do love a beach. I think the only problem along here is, well it's not a problem, but there are no rock pooly type things. They're all sandy beaches along here. But it's a huge beach. And literally we've walked from just over there, huge stretch of beach. This must be absolutely stonky in the summertime. Absolutely stonky. Right, let's go for a walk up here. Let's see what's silly silly bits he's doing over there what a beautiful beach love that 
Raven had a good run. Walking back down this promenade now. Bins all the way down it. Let's go back to the little shoppies to have a look at the shoppies on the other side. Might even treat myself to a sharesy bag of chips. Sharesies? You can have an ice cream if you want an ice cream. Chips. Have a little shazzy tray of chips, loads of salt and vinegar on. Mm. But yes, spot on little spot. This I don't know why I ain't been here before. Absolutely beautiful Chapel St. Leonard's. So, literally, you go out of sight straight down the road onto the main sort of drag, do a right, follow that road all the way round. And it comes straight into Chapel St. Leonard's. And it's, if you put it into ways, Chapel St. Leonard's, nine, ten minutes. Brilliant. But I can't believe there's a co-op there. Really didn't know it was like this. But we'll definitely be back. Sammy's gonna go and get a Mr. Whippy. Want a Whippy? She loves a Mr. Whippy. So yeah, it's nice here. I'm gonna walk back down the ramp once she's got her Whippy. Have a look in the other shops and then off. Then I might take you somewhere else tomorrow. Well for you it'll be a few minutes but Show you around these shops down here first, eh? Shopping! <laughs> yeah, that little cafe is quite reasonable. £3.80 for a small breakfast. For a big old fat boy's breakfast, £5.50. Here she comes, look. She's got a whippy. Look at that. Wow. No, you're right. How much is that? £2.20. £2.20. For Mr. Whippy. Yeah, that was eight years ago. <laughs> Had a bit of ice cream, but got any bit in my beard. So next to that big pub, Divine, there's a pizza place, La Piazza. And Neil says it's really nice in there, Italian food. But as we walk past here, charity shop. Don't mind this one, Seaside Greyhound Kennels. There's a Greyhound Rescue Centre just down the road from the nurseries. So Sammy's going to go and have a look in there. And then, for all you ladies who loves a bag, bag shop. Every kind of bag you could need. Loads of them. Side bags, rucksacks, luggage, duffel bags. Oh, that's quite cheap. They smell like leather as well. No, they're not. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, well, good. There you go. Il Gusto. It's a coffee shop there. What's that one next to it? Piccolo. Don't know what that is. Old seaside place has got bag shops, and they? There's a Gucci one there, look. Yeah, that's Gucci. Right, but yeah, I'm going to pop into the co-op. Get a couple of bits, and then we go back. Chippies first though, I think. Fancy some chippies. Mmm, chippies. <laughs> They're nice, aren't they? Mmm, chippies. You want some, Bertie? I've only scuffed the last of my chips and she had an ice cream. Ate the last of my chippies. You said I could have them. It's not the point. That chippy here. The business. Really nice chips. Really nice. But we're going to pop back in a sweetie shop now. I'm on holiday. Because you've got something in here. Oh, don't get run over. Get 
run over by a trolley. Look at these different flavoured drinks. Root beer! I haven't had root beer for ages. Fancy some of that. Don't drink a lot of pop. It's either water or tea, to be fair. I think I'll get some root beers. Mmm, yummy. No root beer. All them boxes are empty. Gutted. They will just cut the grass here. The first spring cut of grass. Doesn't it smell nice? Oh, lovely. Right, let's pop in the co-op. And then back. Right, that's that then. Quite a nice little place for a couple of hours out, that is. Toilets are all open by the car park. Oh, and there's a vet in that little rubber shops there where the card shop is is your local vets which is always handy to know if you've got a pooch with you so we're gonna go back to the nurseries get sorted out and I'll take you somewhere else get to take you to the beach again you're good isn't it right see you in a minute right a couple of days later I said I'd bring you back to the beach we're at Chapel St. Leonard's again, it's up the road there. We just drove through it to get to here. We're at the North Sea Observatory. Uh, we parked in this car park. As I say, it's not far down the road from Chapel St. Leonard's. It's still classed as Chapel St. Leonard's. And this is a cafe here. They do amazing food in there, really nice. It's, it is packed in there, absolutely packed. And you've got these beach huts. I'll show you where we are. So I think we was up here somewhere last time. We're now down here. You've got all these beach huts there. Look at this beach. The beach is here, as I said. Look at that. I'll take you up the top here. Sammy's up here. I'm just getting her a hot chocolate. There's whingy nuts. A whingy no nuts, I should say. Look. That's Inga Mills up there. I don't think you can see that right in the distance. There's like a roller coaster. That's Ingle Mills. And then Skegness is further around. Look at that beach. Get Raven on there, have a run. It's well nice. Yeah, it's nice in there. Let's get down these stairs without breaking my neck. So this is the England Coastal Path. Little beach huts. These are a flipping arm and a leg, these things. I didn't realise how much they were. More up there. Look at that. Well, good, isn't it? Huge beach. Again, hardly anyone on it this time of year. Got this big sea wall all the way around here. That's known as the North Sea Observatory, a wind farm out there. But I'll take you around here, I'll show you here. There he is, there. Sammy. A bit windy around here. I hope that's all right on the old. I've got me a wind muff on. Look. Smashing, isn't it? I reckon in the, in the summertime this is flipping heaving here anyway. But this time of year, happy days. Now we're now. So I'll just go and get some grub. And we'll go for a walk. You happy? Oh, look. Look at that hot chocolate. You love them, didn't you? I Cuffins do love them. They're my nice. favourite cake. Look at that. She's happy. <laughs> there he goes. There yeah, he's gone. Yeah, it's a beautiful beach. Look at that. Mm. 
So I've just walked from over there, and this is an outfall here. This looks like there's a river being relocated through where all these pipes are, back out into the ocean. Beware deep water. Care for your kids. Where is he? Come on! Come on, Raven. Come here. Every time he sees someone with a ball and a dog, after what a lady thinks the ball's his, he just goes hacking off. Thing is, he's fast, so he always gets the ball first. Oh, yeah, that was clever. Well done. What's really going? Yes, I thought we'd have a bit of a beach theme to this video. Say, not a great big long one. I just wanted to show you a couple of the beaches around here. Just to show you just how, come here. Just how beautiful the beaches are. But, the next one, I've got a guy coming tomorrow to fit a, a diesel heater in my van. Now this is one of the, it's not like a retro fit, it is a retro fit, but what they do is with this one, they tap into your diesel tank, so you don't have a separate tank with it. So it's like a proper one if you like, like a night heater, I used to call them in the lorries. It's that sort of thing, you can fit it, fit it under the seat, or in the back, I'm thinking about having it fitted in where my leisure batteries are. And then it will blow out into sort of the front area, the lounge area of the van. So I might stick a bit of that on there, on the next one. However, by the time you watch this, we're going to be in Norfolk. <laughs> Norfolk. Oh, bird watching. And now I know on a particular area of the hares. They were hoping to get a bit of boxing hare action. The old mouse going at it. But, you never know. So, we're going to be near Clee, Cly, Clay. It's Clay, everyone gets the ump when I say it elsewhere, otherwise. And, um, oh, I'm going to meet up with a couple of mates. So, I'm going to do some wildlife watching. So, you'll like that one. Right nice chat, been on a video before of mine. So we'll uh, see what that turns up. We've got some seagulls up, we've got black headed gulls there. That's a herring gull, flying over there. There's an immature herring gull there, the browny coloured gull. And some black headed gulls. Obviously the ones with black heads. Yeah, got some good videos coming up. I oh, flipping love Norfolk. Probably where I'll end up setting down my roots till I pop my clogs, to be fair. Because we like it so much. Oh! Yeah! I'm going to eat my own weighted seafood when I get there. I've been all around flipping Scotland, all around the place where all the seafood comes from. I couldn't hardly get any of it. Flipping ridiculous. So, I'm going to have to make up for it in Norfolk. Mm -hmm. I know just the spots to go to as well. Happy flipping days. So, yeah. So, some good stuff coming up. Thanks for watching and subscribing. If you're my new subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing. And all my older subscribers, thanks. Thanks for supporting me through my YouTube journey. And when I get home, I'm going to go down. So it's not long now before I hand over my DOSH to Mind Charity. So, probably be end of May I'll do that. End of May. Because that'll be a year up then from when I started getting paid. So, that'll be good too. Try not to look.
Try not to sink. Look at that. And it's not that cold today. It's a little bit breezy, but there's not one person on this flipping beach. Look. Well, there is two and a dog. Us. So, I think I'll leave that one here. Because it's just all beach. And life's a beach. So thanks for watching. Oh, if you haven't seen my my barn owl video, go over and see that. That was flipping amazing, if I don't say so myself. I really enjoyed doing that one. It didn't do too, it didn't, it's gone up now. It's a bit of a creeper. But um, yeah, pop over and watch that. Keep your eyes out, ding that bell, because that gives you notifications of when my video's coming up. Because hopefully I've got a good bit of wildlife and bird watching and stuff like that coming up. Walks around towns, watching me eat seafood, what's not the like, eh? So, you know what I'm going to say, didn't you? You stay safe, you stay sane, journey well. And from me and Sammy, and Raven, you take care, eh? Look out yourselves and each other. I'll see you soon. Bye!